Hi everyone, welcome back. Bunny Ballistics, Tommy here. I hope everyone had a uh, fantastic Thanksgiving. Um, I know I did. I know I was kind of sick leading up to it, so sorry there hasn't been a lot of videos. Um, so we're going to try and get right back on to um, the bandwagon though. So today we have some uh, ammo by TNT Munitions. They are 115 grain. Um, they're actually kind of similar if you guys have ever seen the Steinel um, bullets. They're loaded by uh, Maker Bullets basically. They're P-Rex ammo. Um, they're really cool solid copper. Um, and uh, so let, let me show you a little bit closer uh, and uh, into the ammo. So let's look at that, shall we? Okay, so here we'll get you a real close up. As you can see, it's solid copper and you can really see where it's cut. So you can only guess how crazy these little things expand. Your normal brass, nickel plated primer, nothing too crazy. Um, but I actually found that getting a box of 50 from TNT Munitions is cheaper than getting like a box of 20 from Steinel. So if you like these and are buying them there, you might find a better deal here. Or um, reloading your own. It's probably even a better deal. You can find these on Maker's website. Um, and we're going to be shooting this out of the um, P365XL, about a four and a half inch barrel we have. Um, including the compensator. Um, so let's get into our chrono test, shall we? And we got these are from TNT Munitions, like we said, but these are actually uh, made by Maker from what I'm, I believe, and uh, they're P Rex 115 grain. Um, these are really cool, and I cannot wait to see these in the gel. Alright, let's do our chrono test with them. 1148. 1121. And 3 rex round answered. Yeah, it's kind of a fucking mess in there because I just had a lot of mishaps. But uh, you can see it's this guy. And then it goes down and uh, finally caught one. It didn't go through the table or anything. And that was uh, about right at 13 inches. So that's good. And it looks like it expanded really well. Um, you guys can't see it really from here, but uh, just wait while I pull them out. These are awesome. Okay. T-Rex with denim. I had to flip the block around since the other side was kind of jacked up. Not that it really helped much. So even I could barely find this stupid round. So you can see it kind of in there. So if we see it kind of in there, we're kind of in there. At like the 14 inch mark or so. And that was with um, denim. It's just, it's impossible to see, unfortunately. So I might just do these tests again. But uh, for now, we have this. All right, we'll pull them out and see what they look like. These should be really freaking cool. All right, so we are pretty sure that these guys 
um, are going to not lose anything, right? Oops. So they start 115. They're solid copper, you know. This is the one through bear gel. And look at how that expanded. That is pretty awesome, isn't it? And so we're, we're pretty sure that our uh, denim is not going to lose anything either. So let's go through there. It probably picked up a little bit of gel along the way. I couldn't clean everything out. As you can see, there's a little bit of shiny spots. But uh, it's either the gel or just variants in um, the bullet making process. But um, as you can see, bare to um, denim, they both did really I mean, they did exactly what they were supposed to do. The uh, bear opened a little bit more, as kind of expected. Anyways, okay. Let's measure them and see exactly how big they got. Did someone say we should do multiple, multiple measurements instead of just the single I was doing? So let's do a, uh, a couple here. So we have uh, 0 0.822, 0 0.826. And 0.824. All right, and then this will be our um, denim test. And we have 0 0.820, 0 0.825, and then we have 0.831. So there we have it. Um, TNT munitions. Um, they are just basically loaded uh, P-Rex maker rounds, um, but um, pretty fantastic, I think. I really like them. Um, I really don't think you can go wrong with solid copper as long as they perform. Um, penetration was not great, but I think what you get out of the wound channel basically makes up for any of that. I mean, just just look at these suckers. They, they, I mean, who would want to get shot by, I mean, anything really, but yeah. What do you guys think about these? Um, you know, give me feedback in the uh, comments. Let me know. Do you think these are good, bad, indifferent? Would you carry these? Um, you know, let me know. Um, also, if you like the content, please, please sub. Um, and like the video. There's lots of people who watch that aren't subbed. So please, please, like over 90% of the people that watch aren't subbed. So I would really appreciate it if you did. Um, if you want to help out the channel, there's also a Patreon link in the um, description. And uh, oh, there was a poll I made um, for what caliber gun I was going to get next. It looks like it will be a uh, 45 ACP. So we can start trying to do that. I'm trying to save up now for that. And uh, hopefully I'll have one soon to start doing testing with that. And uh, yeah, that should be really fun. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. Um, Christmas is coming up. The year's going by so freaking fast. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy it. And um, have a good day. Love y'all. Bye-bye.